Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a newly released feature that is generative pages into Molly One apps. So it is recently released on August 11th and still in preview. So we are going to take a look how we can actually create the pages using this generative page feature. And it's as like the name suggests, it's an AI powered preview, which help us to describe our problem, our scenarios in a natural language. And we can also like add the design screenshots as well as like give a more instruction how you want your page, page to be structured. So we'll take a demo of like how we can actually leverage this feature. And as I said, like it's still in preview. So it's available only in the US region environments. And we have to have the Copilot feature enabled for your subscription so that you can utilize this preview feature. I can show you one of the page which I built using this generative pages by passing the minimal information to my this generative page feature where I described I want to have a training and learning program for my this model driven app page where I actually uploaded one of the design where it shows the featured trainings at the top with active learners and then show the top training programs or the trainings with the required information like who are the trainers, the training programs are on what basis. So I gave this information and connected my existing tables and I got this output generated, which is quite decent like uh, in terms of UI and structuring of the data. So we can try a new use case together so that uh, we can have a like good understanding of this newly generated pages feature. So I have this uh, my environment. So I will open the make.powerapps.com and I will go to one of my environment that is located into US region because we would able to want to use, utilize this feature, which is there in the US environment so over here you can actually like start with any solution like uh, if you want to create a new solution you can start with that and before that like if you wish to have like a full fledged page running with tables connected to it so you can start with creating tables so we'll just get the help of this uh, copilot to provision our tables and we'll describe like what we are looking for so we are going to take a use case of making a one asset and inventory management system so i have written some basic prompt for it so that it can understand like what sort of tables i wish to create so i will just say like i want to have this inventory assets and supplier training and fill it with the sample data and the sample data should be like the lhp data like these are inventory data with sort of these columns so if you just copy this and i'll say like create tables as below then it will generate the table so that uh, once the tables are generated then we can actually like start start building our model driven app and there we will just integrate this generative page feature so i'll just say generate and we'll wait for our tables to be set up so we have these tables created and you can see like i have this asset purchase order supplier and supply information so if the table is not filled i can just ask my this copilot again to fill it with the sample data fill it with sample data let's say 20 records in all the tables so that we can actually show the data like once we are generating the our page then that some data should be appearing over there so we can take help of copilot to just add the rules to it so we need not to insert anything by ourselves let's do that and then we'll get back to our model driven app We'll create one solution and there we'll include all these tables and then create one simple model driven app. So now it has added the sample 20 records to it. And once saved, like we can go to solution, we'll just create one solution and I will name that as asset and inventory management. Just choose a default publisher and we'll create it. And now I'm going to add the tables, the created tables into the solution. So I'm just clicking on add existing table and we'll search for all these tables and just add them into our solution. I have this inventory. I will select purchase orders. And I will select the asset. And the supplier so I added all my tables to this solution 
and then we can start creating one model driven app so i'll just go to apps click on this new and model driven app so now i will just name that as inventory and set management so till now like everything is like all the steps are normal now like uh, once we have this uh, new model driven app provision then we'll just add one page so now like uh, once this is provision i have option to add a page and when i click on this page i get the option to describe my like uh, requirement what page i want to design i have this add data that takes the uh, attach an image for any ui design and add the tables so it uses a gpt 4.1 by default you can also switch to 5.0 so over here like uh, let's start with the design so i will just go to one of my vibe ai coding tool which i usually use to build out any good ui so i use replit and bolt so this is a ui built by bolt new uh, which is again like if you want to just open this bolt new so it gives you the entire like uh, their working application so for ui like for where i just want to try the different different sort of ui into the ui then i usually you go for this bolt new or I can also use this replit.com which can I can describe my problem I can get a UI generated so it actually gives you the entire application generated but you can also use this to just grab the UI so this is the, this is the UI actually like uh, I want to build into my this model driven app so you can just take a screenshot of this and I will upload this my design which I got created from our bolt new AI tool and I will then start adding the data so right now as i said like there are few limitations so one of the limitation is like we can have the six data sources connected to it so i can actually like start getting my table so if you want to add your data so you can click on add table so over here you can just search and add your table name in the table box and you can see like uh, the design png the inventory are added to this prompt and i can just keep on like uh, with a slash i can keep on adding my this table name so let's search for the tables i can add, keep on adding and purchase order and then last table is asset I will slash asset so now i have all my data source tables added to it now i can describe so create a page using attached design png use the tables given to build a new page so once you provide your prompt in your natural language it only supports the english as of now so once you provide it then you can see like it started analyzing it started thinking about the requirements given and once it has some context ready then it will show you the preview and as well as like it will show you the code it's generating behind the scene so it has started building out the code as well as once some preview is available you can see that preview the page preview available for this requirement and you can fine tune your requirement like if you find some ui elements missing you can keep you can just add up to your prompt and it will regenerate the code for you with a preview so we can like uh, refine our requirements then and there like in this prompt box so you can see like uh, it has started it generated one preview for my application that is inventory and asset management it gave me the high level of inventory values stock alerts and as well as i have this other tabs for inventory asset and purchase order that is linked to it so right now i'm quite good but uh, for once like i'll publish this page so that and later on we'll refine like uh, one of the things like where we want to add open our inventory page like when i click on add new so i'll just save it and publish and if one more thing like if you go to this code you will find that like it's a it's a react code like uh, where we are using the fluent ui components and right now it's not editable so you can just like copy this and save at your own location but uh, you cannot edit anything to it so it cannot be edited but with a prompt you can actually like uh, specify you can specify your changes and uh, this is very pretty good like in capturing the requirement changes so i'll just publish it and and we'll just uh, review the page what it generated in full 
so i can rename this page like uh, over here itself i ha i have this uh, panel closed so i can specify the new page icon i can define for this page once you publish it then that page uh, the the changes will be reflected so it's a uh, pretty like awesome like uh, whatever we actually gave as part of our design we got that design as is implemented so you can see i have other tabs for asset and purchase order as well and if i click on add then there is nothing like we had bound to it so it's just giving a pop-up but we can specify that we want to open an inventory page or the respective forms like if i click on asset and add item in asset then the respective form should open so we can define our this page using additional prompts so i can just actually go to go back to our requirement our app agent and then i can specify please add open the respective input forms on click of add item or edit item for example add item on inventory tab should open new inventory form and also make the other tabs like asset purchase order and suppliers clickable and open the respective data so once we do that like we can keep playing with our this app agent which can define the ui based on our given uh, given requirement and if you wish to like inspect each and everything then you can just open this code and then you can keep on seeing like what it is generating behind the hood and these pages like cannot be exported so you can you cannot do anything you just just can copy the content and save yourself like uh, wherever like you want to save as you can see like uh, it's generating the pages and that page is using material ui data grid and using react if you want to like learn more about it then you can just like uh, capture all this code and then put into any ai tool it will give you the exact explain the code what is generating so it has generated now we'll just publish this one and we'll just test like whether we got our new forms added via this add item link or not so we'll just say check that so now i if i click on add item you can see like i got this inventory form and where i can just add the inventory item so let's say like a laptop and can define the stock unit value and i can just do add so this is how you can actually start building out the full fledged application and if i go to this added one so again like the same form added inventory form would be linked up so by this way like you can start giving your requirements to this app agent then you can define refine your ui but it's pretty much like good starting point where like we can build out this uh, intuitive pages for our application and it's, this is available into our database table plus this model driven app so it's not available for sharepoint or any canvas app right now so i hope like uh, you got the preview of this feature like uh, how you can build out your this sensitive page by using this natural language and this is preview feature it seems like we to be a game changer for rapid application development and um, like we can we can't uh, wait to see this uh, to be in production because it will boost out the productivity and cut out the development time a lot so i hope like uh, you may find this video useful and if you do if you have any comments then you can drop your comments i'll try to answer that is it for today thank you